hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a goosey soup using the frying method from start to finish so if you are interested keep watching so here i've got some egusi seed and i also have four combination of fresh meat here you can use any meat of your choice so here i've got dried chicken cow tail cow skin known as pomo and trip known as shaki two handful of crayfish got some smoked dry fish and stock fish and I'll be using bitter leaf for this recipe. You can use spinach or pumpkin leaf if you want. With me, I've got two macra fish which has been cut and washed. Here, I've got four scotch bonnet, three bear pepper, six tomatoes, and three onions. I've got three seasoning cubes, palm oil, meat seasoning, and the salt to taste. As you can see, my meat is already in the pot. So I will start preparing my goosey soup by adding one sliced onion to the meat. Out of the three onion I showed you earlier today, I will be using one to cook the meat. And I will also be adding one maggi cube. One teaspoon of meat seasoning. And some salt. And I'm going to be adding little water to the meat, almost to the level of the meat. And I will cover it to cook. So while our meat is cooking, I will just go ahead and blend the egusi seed. Just like this. So after blending, this is how the egusi will look like. The egusi will be very smooth. So you can continue the same method until you finish blending all your egusi seed. So after finish blending the egusi, you can use the same blender to blend your crayfish. So you make sure to blend it until it gets smooth as well. So this is how it will look like when you finish blending your crayfish. So now I will be blending my pepper, tomatoes and onion. And I'm going to be cutting them into a smaller tiny pieces so that it will be easier for my blender to blend them. Some people prefer taking out the seed of the tomatoes. It makes no difference to me. But if you want, you can take yours out, okay? I prefer using mine just like that. And I will be slicing one onion into a smaller tiny pieces. And I will be slicing one onion into a smaller tiny pieces. This is the onion I will be using to fry the soup. Remember, I was having three onion. I used one to cook the meat and I blended one with my pepper mixture and I will be using one to fry the stew. And now I will be blending the pepper mixture. After blending, I will set it aside. So this is my blended egusi. I will be adding water to it bit by bit until I get the consistency I'm looking for. So after mixing it, this is the exact consistency you should be aiming at. Not too thick and not too watery. So I will start preparing the egusi soup by adding some palm oil into the pot. And I will allow it to heat up a little bit. And I will be adding the chopped onion and my blended mixture. And I am going to fry it until it gets dried. Now 
Now that our pepper mixture has dried up, I will be adding the egusi bit by bit into the pot. The egusi I mixed earlier, I will be adding it into the pot bit by bit and I will stir it a little bit and I will allow it to cook for about 20 minutes. And I will continue stirring the egusi in order for it not to get burnt. You know egusi get burnt so easily. As you can see our egusi is still frying and it has soaked up all the oil. That shows that the egusi is doing well. So I will still continue stirring it until it's completely dried. So can you see how dried and separate the egusi is right now? So once you see that your egusi has developed crumbled, you can now return your cooked meat into the pot and stir very well. Make sure everything is well combined. So after adding the meat and the stock, I'm going to be adding my bitter leaf straight away. But if you are using spinach, do not add it at this point. You have to add it towards the end of your cooking. So you will not overcook your spinach. I added my bitter leaf straight away because I wanted it to cook very well. I'm using dry bitter leaf and I soaked it in hot water for about 4 hours before using it. So after adding the bitter leaf, I added up my blended crayfish and I stir very well. And I added the remaining two maggi cubes. At this time, if you see that the soup is too thick, you can add little water to the soup to loosen it up a bit. So now I'll be adding the fresh mackerel fish. The fish is optional guys. If you don't feel like using fresh mackerel fish, you can use any fish of your choice. So after adding the mackerel fish, I added some more water to the soup and I taste for seasoning. At this time you can add more seasoning to the soup. So I ended up adding some salt. To the soup and I cover to cook for additional 10 minutes to allow the fish to cook very well So after 10 minutes guys, I will stir it for the last time and our egusi soup is ready. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you find this method interesting. And please if you do, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to leave your comment below and tell me what you think about the soup. Guys, try this method. I know you are going to love it and the soup is so yummy please if you've not subscribed to this channel help me to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that when i upload a new video you'll be the first 
to be notified and please do not also forget to help me share the video thank you so much as you do that god bless you see you on my next video bye